Hey guys, uh, Temple Grower here. It's uh, planting day in the garden, and uh, so I wanted to make a quick little vid here on how I go about doing this, uh, how not to damage the tap roots, you know, sprinkling the mycorrhizal uh, fungi powder in there, and um, yeah, all that good fun stuff. Uh, planting is obviously, it's not a hard thing, but it's pretty important in the whole scope of the grow, obviously, if you mess up your, your plant <laughs> uh, before it's even a plant. Um, can be an issue there because you won't have a plant, but yeah, not really that difficult. So I'll, I'll give you a quick run through on how I do it. Um, so yeah, we'll kind of get started here. First of all, obviously you can see my pots here are all filled with my soil ready to go. Everything is, is, is ready. All my, my uh, tools, my ingredients and stuff that I need are here so I don't have to waste time and potentially you know knock something over if I'm, I'm getting up and down a million times so it's important to have all your setup uh, and your stuff ready to go obviously like anything else preparation is uh, is important so yeah so you can see the pots we got here filled with soil this is the mycorrhizal fungi product that I use um, it's the, the one that's locally available here in the garden store I've no you know pros or cons uh, other than I mean you're gonna want According to the, the Cannabis Encyclopedia here, uh, by Jorge Cervantes at least, the um, Glomus intraridices and the Glomus mossiae, oh, you can't even see, Glomus mossiae, uh, these, are, these are all the different strains of mycorrhizal fungi, but those two specifically are the ones that have an affinity to cannabis, so make sure whatever product you use has, has those two in it. Um, yeah, so other than that, uh, obviously we need our seeds. So you can see here, I have Northern Lights, this is Skunk, Jack Hair, and Blue Cheese, all labeled, and they correspond to the four um, paper towels inside, because obviously it's easy to mix your seeds up, and that's that kind of sucks. I mean, <laughs> it'll probably be easy to tell them apart in the end, but I mean, uh, why go through that trouble? So yeah, labeling, it's important, but um, we're going to plant one of the Northern Lights first right here in this pot. So everything's ready. Got my distilled water as we can see back here too. This is a big oh shit. Pretend that didn't happen. Uh, yeah so this distilled water here um, just in case I, uh, I need extra but I already filled my watering can up with it so and I use distilled water just because I don't want to introduce any unknowns I guess. My tap water here is pretty clean and I have rain water and stuff but distilled water has nothing in it and for the first bit I mean I figure that's that's probably good for the for the plants um, just because you don't want to shock them with anything that the, you're not aware that might be in your water and especially there's chlorine I think in my in or chloramines in my tap water and so I don't really want to kill off my mycorrhizal fungi potentially so yeah Distilled water is the way I go for the first week or so, and then after that you kind of, you can go do whatever you like after things get settled. But, yeah, we'll get started here. So, I'm going to move my pot. Okay, so, here we have my pot with the soil. And my, my tweezers that I use, I, I use tweezers, some people use their fingers, but I like tweezers because it's a bit more precise. But it kind of has a popsicle stick looking end. Um, you can use an actual popsicle stick or a, you know, end of a spoon, whatever. Use your MacGyver skill. But yeah, I just dig kind of a little, a little hole, like about that deep. That's about maybe a centimeter deep, centimeter and a half. Depends on the, the length of your tap root. Obviously, you don't want to, uh, you don't want to dig it too deep or uh, too shallow. So kind of, I don't know. I try to fit it to the root. Um, so after that's dug, I get my mycorrhizal fungi powder here. And I just take a teeny bit of that and I sprinkle it into the hole. I'm not, uh, this is a quarter teaspoon spoon, but I don't measure, measure that really. Uh, I just use, you know, you can use anything, just a little bit in there. Um, all right, so we got our seeds then. Make sure we take the right one out. This one's looking pretty nice. 
these are Sensi Seeds Northern Lights, so I'm pretty excited about these. Uh, but yeah, you can see. It's about, you know, centimeter-ish long. So, I just dropped it in there. Normally I would set, but I kind of dropped it there. But yeah, same difference. Put it in the hole so it, it just kind of sits in there nice and, and gently. And then you just kind of pack the soil back around it, like so. And then you take your watering can and just water. I put about, you know, that much. That's about a half a shot glass worth. So not very much, like 30 milliliters, um, two, well, half ounce, I guess. Just enough to, to wet the soil around the seed. You don't want to drown the seed at this point, obviously, because they're pretty small and it's, and it's easy to do that. So just enough to get the soil wet um, so that it has enough moisture to stay, to stay moist as well as the soil will compact kind of and squeeze around the seed and hug it basically and then uh, make contact and then the roots will start growing out like, uh, like they should. So yeah, that's literally all there is to it. Um, pretty simple. And uh, yeah, we should see the probably in about, I don't know, three days, two, three days, uh, we'll see a little sprout come out of there. And um, yeah. That's about it. Pretty easy stuff. So, if you like the video, come see us at Percy's Grow Room. I'm Temple Grower there, um, but uh, everybody else is very helpful as well. Um, like, subscribe to the, the channel here. Um, Percy's has a channel as well that I have some videos on, and other uh, there's other great videos for tutorials and uh, other stuff on there as well, so check them out. And yeah, I'm on Instagram, Twitter, you know, all the fun stuff like that too. So find me there if, if you want to chat. But yeah, thanks for the watch.